Can you continue? We've got a moment to check the lineup for the Angels. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? And we've got LaCroix now coming to the plate. Well, the Angels won their last game. So after splitting the first two games, a good outing to finish that series. A smash towards the hole. And Rodriguez puts that away. That will retire the side. And of course, as a pitcher, you've got to keep your eye on which pitches are effective on any given day and which ones aren't. Here's a look at which pitches he's thrown that have generated hits. The pitch I've been watching is that curve. It's been hit twice already. Bounces up against the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Well, a great leadoff double right there. No outs in the inning. Now, let's see if they can bring him across. RBI up. Oh, he's going to try to steal third. And he is out at third. What a throw. A loss yesterday for the Brewers. They were hoping to take the series after splitting games one and two. They ended up grabbing one game only against the Pirates in Pittsburgh. And he'll step on first for out number one. Estrada into the batter's box. Six year player. This one's grounded foul wide of first. And Ionetta sets up his target. And he fouls off another one. A swing and a foul off to the right side. And that's another foul ball. Full count. Here's Williams. And another foul ball. He kicks and throws to Estrada. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. The 3 2 pitch. Swing to softly hit grounded to first. Over to second for one. And two. They got both of them that time. It's going to be Rodriguez now. Steve, let's take a look at what we've got from the pitcher. Now these ground balls coming out because this right hander really changing speeds, moving the ball around, changing the hitter's eye level, and pounding the bottom third of the strike zone. He'll get us started here in the fifth. It's a fair ball headed into the corner for extra bases. Stops at second. Two bagger. Well, what a great way to get things started. Leading off the inning with the double. Put yourself in scoring position early. Chris Iannetta at the plate. His lifetime batting average not good. 226 against the Brewers. Well, the decision here, obviously, is a great respect for the hitter. He's going to get the free pass. Yeah, but I'm not sure either of these guys likes this. They'd like to go at each other the challenge and see him to come out on top. Oh, takes off for third. And he made it safe at third. With that kind of lead, it makes it so much easier to get in safely to third base, especially when the pitcher's acting like he doesn't even notice you out there. That is a strike. Kendrick, see how he protects the plate here. Steve, let's take a look and see how the pitcher's done today. Uh, what happens when you pound the bottom of the zone? Uh, what happens you get a lot of ground ball outs. Take a look at how tough he's been on these guys. Just letting his infield work for him. And we've got Mosley. This one's grounded meekly to first. Oh, they did not want to do that. Rodriguez scores. So with one down, it'll be Carlos Gomez. Well, looking for a bounce back performance today. Some disappointment after last game striking out twice. He homered earlier in the ball game, And that one is in there. His second hit today. So that's going to bring up Alex Gonzalez. Now this. Some great work tonight. Two for two off the strata. We know he's been vulnerable with the breaking ball. I got a hit off of it last time up. You may have to start to think about a different sequence of pitches. He'll start things off here in the summer. Oh! It's hit foul by Rodriguez. Swings, clobbers this one. Deep left center field. Goodbye, home run. They wish that. It's going to be Rodriguez now. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Ioki's there. 
He comes up with it easily here. But went out here in the ninth inning, they still need two, so they need to get people on and advance base runners, do what they have to do to get runners in scoring position.